Good morning, North Star. Um, first of all, my, just to give you a little bit of background, um, first of all, this isn't in my notes at all, but I feel like um, for about three years we lived in Habakkuk 17. <laughs> Um, <laughs> we went through a major transition um, about three years ago, and everything we thought we knew just seemed to dissipate. Um, not extreme circumstances, but it just happened. So anyway, my name is Candy. My husband and I have spent the last 26 years in ministry. We have served in several different ministries. We've been a part of youth ministry. Um, children's ministry, nursery, Christian education ministry, and even associate pastoring. When we made the decisions to start looking for a new home church, um, we knew that it had to be a place where we could not only grow, but be used as well. Little did I know that that would mean some stretching on my part. We visited North Star um, last October, and we kind of fit right in. Um, we knew at, the, at that point we, um, we didn't need to look any further for a new church home. Isaiah 55, 8 and 9 is something that I've leaned on now for quite a while, but it says, The Lord tells us, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, and my ways are not your ways. For as, as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than yours, and my thoughts higher than yours. God tells us in his word, um, we cannot walk this out alone. Surprise. <laughs> Gosh. See, see, only by spending time with God can we walk out our days successfully. Once we had decided to make North Star our home, we knew we wanted to get involved. We weren't sure where or how. Um, goodness. Let's see. Then the Seeing God in 2019 challenge was presented. I toyed with the thought that this was something I wanted to do. I knew this was going to be a stretch for me and a pull out of my comfort zone. I hadn't really studied the Bible in this way before, and I decided that this was something I needed to do. I needed to take steps toward, toward, forward to become a better Christian before I began the challenge. I didn't realize how lazy I was. I would do what was needed um, to be done in ministry. I planned leadership retreats, um, youth trips, vacation Bible schools. I was great, I hope, at supporting my husband in his ministry positions. But I didn't have a real relationship with Christ. My creator, the very being, that although he created the universe, still felt it important to give me life. I have been saved and baptized, but how arrogant was I to think that I could serve God, but not have a relationship with him. To think I could walk this road alone was just baffling at that time. In a recent Facebook post, I stated, feeling stretched in a God way lately, can't help but think I am in a divinely appointed season. I don't know the steps yet, but I am gaining ground every time I study the word and spend time with God. I have to admit, um, it has been a little intimidating at times, and I've gotten somewhat fearful at what God may reveal to me. Hashtag seeing God in 2019 has been the best decision I've made. Don't get me wrong. I believe some things are just common sense, encouraging someone, being a listener, or even being the shoulder for someone to cry on are all little things that take very little effort on our part that we can do. But if we aren't keeping God first in our lives, spending our days in his presence, then we won't see the needs around us. We will continually walk blindly through life. Seeing God in 2019 has filled my once empty hole in my heart. See, I spent 26 years in ministry, riding Greg's coattails, waiting for him or our pastor to hear from God, waiting for them to give me a word from the Lord, when in reality, God wanted a relationship with me as an individual. He wants a relationship with all of us as individuals. Since January, since I began the Seeing God in 2019 challenge, I've done some things that are definitely outside of my little comfort box. From taking meals to total strangers, <laughs> to leading a weekly email devotion at work, and the biggest step of all, telling you just part of my story today. 
If you aren't involved in the Seeing God in 2019 challenge, I encourage you to get involved. It's not too late to see where God will take you.